Hey TCS TV viewers, it's Steven Evelyn from the Camera Store. Today we're talking about the new Leica M11P. Let's go. Let's go. The M11P has some upgrades from the original M11, but also some pioneering technology that could revolutionize the photo industry. That's right, we're talking about content credentials. And this is very exciting for photojournalists, the world of photo news in general. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty of that and what it means for photography a little bit later on. But for now, let's get into what's cool about this Leica M11P. The Leica M series cameras feel so good. I mean, there's just something about holding a Leica and using a Leica that gives you kind of that magical feeling. Like it just feels right. They're a timeless classic in the way they design their cameras and it works really well for them. I mean, I fell in love with the M11 in New York back a year or so ago when they launched that camera. Now the M11P was a very similar experience. Leica's got a very classic styled camera system that works really well. I mean, it, it is timeless. You go back 30, 40, 50 years and it feels at home with a brand new camera. Yeah, it's kind of this minimalist experience. I mean, this one doesn't have the big red dot on it, so it's a little bit more stealthy. <laughs> you have an awesome menu system. It's really well integrated, easy to operate, and it has a lot of sort of just sleek features to it. And that's sort of part of the allure of it. It's not fancy. It's not trying to be something crazy with all the bells and whistles and 300 frames per second. It's very simple, just like capturing life. the simplicity life. of photography. Exactly. So yeah. now we have an enhanced memory. Now we have built-in memory up to 256 gigs rather than 64 in the original M11. Yeah, we liked that in the Chrome edition. So now you have it in the full color version of the M11 series. We also have a sapphire glass backing to the LCD panel, very nice. Yeah. And we also like that it doesn't have like that bottom plate. It's just kind of more of the more modern design on how you can get your battery out. It also has that USB-C port on the bottom of it to charge and also connect the camera to the computer. Yeah, I mean, not having to take the battery out, not having to take the memory card out, just plug it in to my USB and away I go. I quite like the simplicity of the whole thing, but the whole fact of Leica is simple. Very yeah. easy, capture it, just walk around with it. It's your day-to-day -day camera that may captures some amazing images. Yeah, and we're still talking about a very high resolution, full frame sensor, it's 60 megapixels, and everything that you loved about the Leica M11 is in the Leica M11P. Now there is one thing though that is making headlines in terms of what it can do for photography in general. The Leica M11P is the very first camera to have content credentials at the point of capture. Yeah, so why is this important? Why is this cool? The first <laughs> thing is that it's basically going to create a manifest of what happens to that image. So this is really important for photojournalists and kind of in the world of AI, where there's often like a questioning on if an image is real. You know, you have things like content generative fill and you can really change the context of an image very easily the general populace can do it you know photoshop has firefly so this is a way to kind of combat that and i think we're going to see in the next few years a lot of other camera brands and software companies jump on board we're already hearing from sony and nikon that they're going to be part of this initiative and leica is paving the way they're pioneering it and i think it's really cool that we can have this credential built in at that point of capture 100 percent. i mean with photoshop i can certainly you know export an image and with that credentials built into it but what's happened before that with Leica the very first image it's tagged with it all the information that is there so I can go back in history back in time and see what's done to this photo yeah it's like souped up metadata so it's basically creating this read-only file that you can't modify and it puts a stamp or a badge on that image and then as you import it into Lightroom or Photoshop it's going to continue to track all those steps so when you eventually see that photo on say like a major news site, the readers will be able to click on the badge and see what happened to that image. And I think it's gonna create a lot of transparency and kind of prove the authenticity of images in the photo news world. I think it's a really important step because we are inundated with images online. We have no idea where they came from, what the, what's real, what's not real, but now we have the ability to go back and see this is what it really was. Overall, I'm excited about this change. Do I think that all of the photojournalists are all of a sudden gonna have Leica M11Ps? Probably not as fun as that would be for the camera store. <laughs> but I think what we are gonna see is a lot of the major manufacturers move into this space, join the team of being able to show 
this signature in the images at the point of capture. And I think it's really important for the future of what photojournalism could be. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for a large amount of people, I don't know if it's really going to affect their photography at all or they're even going to care about it. But if you're in a world where you're going to be held accountable or you're putting your work out for the world to see, I think this is a really good step to have. Yeah, and if it's in more and more cameras, I could see even photo contests implementing this kind of thing because it does kind of create that level of trust and approval and does give that transparency to photography. But of course, we want to know, what are your thoughts on content credentials? Is it something that you're interested in that you think should happen from the point of capture? Let us know in the comments below. And do you like the styling of the M11P without the red dot on it? Make sure you follow us both on Instagram. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you again very soon. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you want to check out more of our recent content, click up here. And if you're a Canadian and you want to support local, check out thecamerastore.com down here.